Hi, welcome back to Therapy Designs. If you're new to this channel, my name is Kelly and this channel is all about print on demand everything. So if you are interested in print on demand, please hit like and subscribe and stick around. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create this design and talk a little bit about this design style, which is again, another really popular design style. And um, I'll show you how you can go ahead and do this and talk about different ways that you could scale this out. So if this is something that you're interested in learning about, please do stick around. Okay, so we are on Canvas home page. I'm just gonna go up to uh, custom size here and I'm gonna select 4,500 by 5,400 pixels. This will pull up a blank page. I will be designing uh, for dark colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and select black as my background's color. Now I'm gonna do very popular kind of design style today. And so of course you can do whatever you want with it, but just to kind of show you how you would go ahead and get that look. So we are gonna go ahead and do peace, love, Christmas. Um, so nothing too exciting, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some symbols here. So I'm gonna start with a peace sign up in my elements tab and lots of different peace signs out there. So I can do sort of the hand or the traditional one. Problem with the hand is if I put a clipping mask on it, you won't be able to see any of the details. So you'll just get the shape. The peace sign is a little easier to work with. And so I might just go ahead and do this one here. So I've got a nice peace sign. Love, I'm just gonna go ahead and go with a nice heart. That's pretty easy. Oops, I wrote love, I meant heart. And of course you can pick sort of any style heart you want. There's lots of different heart shapes. So depending on whether or not you want it to be more symmetrical or you want it to be more sort of asymmetrical style. So lots of more fun heart shapes that you could do if you wanted to. Um, depends how wide you want to make it. And so you can sort of play with the different heart shapes there. But let's say we're going something a little bit more silly. And then let's go with Christmas tree. And again, I'm just looking for a fun Christmas tree shape. Something like that might work well. Um, so any Christmas tree shape that you like, this one's gonna give you sort of more of that sort of a fun one. It might look better with the heart. And so that's a cool Christmas tree shape. Um, and so you can just sort of play with all of these, decide what shapes you want. Again, when we put clipping masks on stuff and we're going to, it doesn't really matter what color it is because the mask is gonna go over the top. And you can see right here is a perfect example of something that we're gonna be doing where you get the clipping masks on top of the different you know, trees. And so we'll do something very similar to this. And so there's a lot of those that you can see that have already kind of been done. Um, and so just to give you some ideas, Let's go ahead and just stick with these right here because I think that'll just make, um, that'll make a good, a good grouping. And so what it'll look like would be something like this, of course, across the top here. If I made them all the same size, you could kind of see the way that they're gonna go. And so that is, all the same general size. So something like that is what we're gonna be working with. Now I do want them spaced far enough apart that I can separate them with a line because I'm gonna be putting different masks over each one. So let's start with, um, it doesn't really matter, I can go with a green plaid. And so you'll see there's lots of different fun green plaids we can go with. Buffalo plaid is the most common, but you know, here's one that has sort of the snowflakes on it, which is kind of cool. Um, if I was to bring that one way down and go right over the top with it, let me see. So something like that might look good. It's gonna give me the buffalo plaid, but with the little snowflakes, that might be cool. I can also go with just right buffalo plaid. Uh, let's just put buffalo plaid and it's going to give me sort of these red ones here and those look pretty good again. So let's say I just wanted to do the red buffalo plaid there and then the leopard print. And let's just pick any old leopard print we like. I don't like the color of that one. That one looks good. 
And if I really wanted to, I could make this leopard print because I can change the colors. I could make this a Christmassy shaded leopard print. I really don't want to, but just so that you could see how you could like almost play with some of these. I could do something like that, or I could make this uh, the green. And so, I mean, that looks really weird, but you can see how you could play with that if you wanted to be creative. But since the regular leopard print is pretty popular, let's say we're gonna do something like this. And so now what I'm going to do is this is just gonna be my mask and I can just title it mask or whatever you wanna title it. I'm gonna download this as is and give it one sec. And now I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of my masks. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and put frame. And again, you can title these however you want. I'm just gonna make it really simple, mask and frame. And I'm gonna download this. This one is gonna be a transparent background because this is my frame. And I will download that. So from here, what we're gonna do is jump over to Photopea. So if you put photopea.com into your browser, it'll pull up a page that looks just like this. It's totally free and you don't have to create an account really. If you've never used it before, just put photopea.com into your browser. Hit the center button, it'll pull up your downloads and you can go ahead and start by selecting your frame. Now it will pull up your frame and it'll look like that. And then what we're gonna do is put the mask right on top. So we'll go to the top left hand corner of the page. I'll hit file three spaces down, open and place. That will pull up your downloads again, and then you can go ahead and select your mask. And so now I have my mask and it is over the top of my frame and the mask is the one highlighted here on the layers. So from here, all I have to do is go up to the top where it says layer, click that. About halfway down, it says clipping mask, I can click that. And boom, it automatically puts the clipping mask on top of my design. It really should be that fast and that easy. So if you're having trouble with it, drop it in the comment section below. I'll try to help you out. Um, but it really should just be that fast and that easy. I can go up to file, halfway down, export as, select PNG. It'll take a second, but a box will pop up. There it is. And I can go ahead and just title this whatever I want. So let's put, um, I don't know, plaid piece, love, Xmas, something like that, and hit save. And it should download it and I can jump right back over to Canva. And so that's all I needed Photo P for. It really was super fast and easy and it's just, it's the fastest, easiest, most efficient way I know to put a clipping mask on a design. Um, and so I always use it that way. Now that I'm back on Canva, I can upload that. So I can just go to the left-hand side of my page, select uploads, click upload files, and I can just go ahead and upload what I just made on Photo P. Perfect. And now once I have it, I can go ahead and just pull it over here. Boom. And so here it is. Now I don't really need these anymore. I can save them if I wanna create more masks, but for this design, I'm just gonna show you, I'm just gonna do this. Now these do blend in quite a bit. So what we want is to put a nice white outline around all of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to edit photo. I'm gonna to go to shadows. I'm gonna to go to outline. We're gonna select a white outline. I'm going to bring it down something like that, enough of an outline that it looks deliberate and that you can see it pop, but nothing too thick. And so now I have pretty much my grouping. Now I do wanna play with the way these are sitting together. So the easiest thing to do here would just be to hit Control D and Control D. So now I've got three groupings and we're just going to go ahead, oops, and crop out each individual shape. And so that's why if I spaced these far enough apart, then it becomes really easy to just have three different shapes like that. And so now I can play with them however I want and make them whatever size I want. So if I'm starting with the heart in the middle, I put the heart kind of smack in the middle of the page here. Something there looks good. Then I can go ahead and I can take this Christmas tree and I can angle the Christmas tree however I want. So if I wanted to give it just a little bit of an angle, I could make it a little bit bigger, obviously, so that it looks like it's going with this design and I could have it overlap. 
Now I can hit a control in my right bracket, that's going to bring it to the front. So if I want it to be in front of the heart, something like that looks pretty cool. I can do it that way. Maybe even give it a little bit more of an angle. And then we're gonna go ahead and take our peace sign. Same idea, I'm gonna make that peace sign nice and big. So it looks again like it goes. I can keep it in the back or I can hit control in my right bracket and that will bring it to the front. And so let's say I was to do something like that. So now I have my fun peace sign, my peace, love and Christmas. And so that looks pretty cool. What I can do once I have them the way I want would just be to group them all together. And then from there, if I hit group, I can go ahead and now take this and sort of size it and place it to the way I want. So make it nice and big across the top. There we go. Now it's going across the top. And now I'm going to go ahead and put in my text. So I'm going to hit T on my keyboard. That's going to pull up your text box. And then I'm going to go ahead and write in peace. And I'm going to leave a couple spaces, maybe three spaces. Love, maybe another three spaces. And then Christmas. Perfect. And that is going to be going across the bottom here. I'm going to be selecting a font. You can do any font you want. Um, I think for this one, I liked, what did I like? Banthal? Let's see. I think I liked Banthal. Yeah. So this is a fun one that I liked. I did get this font from Creative Fabrica, but of course you can use any font you like. And so I got my Peace Love Christmas right here. And a fun thing to do would just be to put a little dot or, or period or something in between. Now I can put literally just peace and then, oops, that's a comma. Let's go with a period. Love period, Christmas period. Oops. So I could do it that way or you could put a little snowflake or dot in between each letter. It really depends how you wanna do it. So, but some little thing that's gonna give it a tiny bit of spacing there. And so there we go, that looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it the way it is. It was super fast and easy to do and now it is ready to go on a shirt. Now, the fun thing about this is I can put it on a dark colored shirt as is and that looks pretty awesome. If I wanted to duplicate this page just to show you, if I was to now take this font, just the font, and change the color here to that red color, and now take the whole thing and put it on a white shirt. That is now how it would look on a white shirt. And so you could do it um, one for a dark version, one for a light version. And really all I had to do was change the color of the font. Um, I could change the colors of the outlines too if I wanted to go ahead and just pick each one of these and change the outline color, let's say to black. And then you can have a light and a dark version. And so that's pretty easy too. So easy to work with and it's got a lot of different, um, you know, applications that you can use it for. This might look good on a flag because it's a nice um, sort of long rectangular shape. So it would look pretty good on a flag. You could do it for a mug. You could do it, you know, for a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and anything that you like. So I'm just going to go ahead and title this a Peace Love Christmas. And by the way, this general style is not new. You can do this for lots of different holidays. So peace, love, Easter, peace, love, turkey, peace, love, football, peace, love, anything. And you can put clipping masks on each one and pretty much recreate the same thing. So this is definitely a design style that can be scaled out pretty far. And so, you know, do as creative as you want, but you know, you can make lots and lots and lots of different designs from this general concept. So I'm going to go ahead, hit download, transparent background, and we will download this and it is ready to go. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop it in the comment section below. I try to get back to everybody as quickly as I can. I hope you guys are doing well with all of your quarter four stuff. Um, and that's it. I hope to see you guys again. That's it for today's video. If you found this useful and would like to see more videos with helpful tips and tricks, be sure to hit like and subscribe and turn on your notifications so you don't miss any of the weekly videos. As always, keep growing and stay creative and we'll see you next time.